What's up everybody, it's Mr. You Know Who from Examon Gaming and today guys I'm bringing you a new updated tutorial on how to use the Resident Evil Zero Save Editor from Brute Force. So I just got my hands on it, I just tested it and I just released my new video, video sorry, showing that the save editor actually works. Now I did test it a couple of times and like I said I just mocked up a quick save like literally as the game started from the beginning just to make sure that the save editor worked and from the most part it worked i didn't test everything i didn't test all the characters on um, billy but i'm more than sure that it works so there are three versions of the save editor just so you guys know i'm only gonna give you guys the one for the ps3 there's one that's the ps3 and xbox um combined together which is the third version um i'm only going to give you the second version because that's the one that i use to actually mod my save which is version 101 if you go to brute force save data i believe is version 102 which um does 360 saves as well but i didn't use that one because by the time i realized that new version came out I already had downloaded version 101 and that is what worked for me so i figured if it worked for me it'll work for you and as again if anybody's using my save for resident evil zero remember that the save that i just released is for version 10100 which is basically a fresh install with no patch for the game when the game gets updated with a patch i will update my save but for the most part i like to make generic saves without any patch because you can always delete the patch and just reinstall my save and then update to the patch but that's neither here or there so i just figure i just tell you guys that so let's jump into the save editor and how it actually works so first things first is on my desktop i'm gonna open it up now all i did was go to file hit open and I go to my desktop here's my save and remember I'm using the euro version of the game which is the PSN digital download so that's what I'm using you, sh you should be able to convert it to either the US version or it would just work with the US version I'm assuming that it would just work with the US version so there's no real need to convert a save unless you find a save that has everything unlocked or a specific chapter then you can convert it to match your game region but for right now I'm just using the euro version like I said PSN digital download so you're gonna open this up Let's give it a second it's loading it may take a little second and pause but it's loading and as you guys can see, it opened. And here's some of the stuff that I tried when I put it in the save editor, but then I realized that some of the actual values or the amount may not work. So I may have to lower it, lower it down. Sorry, had something in my throat. Uh, Rebecca's handgun, this worked. Handgun ammo, it worked. A ribbon, that worked. Renee launcher that worked. Um, the first aid spray I put it to 15 because that seemed more like a logical number. But when I loaded it back on the game, it didn't work. It just gave me one. I didn't see 15. Now again, when it comes to Billy, I wasn't playing with Billy, so I just put this stuff in. I don't know if it actually works, but it should work. Um, you guys can mess around with this when you pick Billy or when you get Billy as the character and you can edit his stuff but pretty much the save editor is straightforward so you go to other as you guys can see max Rebecca's HP max Billy's HP reset time reset um, time save so you can change this up down if you want to you can reset the time so no matter how many times you die or how many times you save you could just edit that back as if you never saved at all so let's say this you play in the game on the hardest level you get to the last boss then you say huh I want the save to appear as if 
I just ran through the game without any continues or no deaths. Well, you can do that in the save editor, so that's a plus. And again, I want to thank three people contributing the work to make this happen because I didn't say their names, but I'm going to say it right now, which is Dark Note Joe, Gold972, and Shaka. You know, those three individuals made this possible so that we can enjoy the game and mod our saves. And I want to say thank you to you guys because, as always, you guys come through right as the game is released a few days or a few weeks later. You come up with something. So this will help a lot of people out who just got the game last week off the PSN. Hey, you guys take advantage of this because it makes your life a lot much easier when you're playing the game. So let's actually take, go back to the save editor. You got advanced mode. You can encrypt and decrypt. Now, I didn't mess with this. Um, all I did when I did my save, file. And I opened and I loaded it in. And all my stuff that I had got, like, literally as I started the game, just appeared and I added it. So let's take a look at the save editor and what it actually can do. So you got all these choices. Shotgun, grenade launcher, magnum, submachine gun. Now here's the thing. I do not know what works and what does not work. I just basically selected common things that... I thought that should have worked, and they work. Now, I don't know if everything on this list works. If some things doesn't work, the best thing I can tell you is send an email on brute force save data to Dark Nocho. His name is below, or Nacho. Sorry, I always say your name wrong, boss, but you know what I'm talking about. And he can basically work out the kinks and the codes and figure out how to get everything to work. Again, I didn't test everything. I only put on like two things or three things and two out of the three worked or which was the actual uh sorry it was four things one two three four so four things i put on which was the handgun for rebecca and, uh handgun ammo and ink ribbon and the green and the grenade launcher all of that stuff worked except for the first aid spray did not give me 15 it only gave me one so Hey, I take one, then none. So it was all good. But um, you guys can play around with the save editor. See what works, what doesn't work. Pretty much everything is self-explanatory. And everything here has a purpose. Now, I don't know because, again, I didn't play the game. But I'm pretty much sure, like, when you get to a certain level, these items below will come in handy or you would need to get it. So instead of actually have to go get it, you would just get have it and you can proceed to either the next chapter or the next level or the next boss and you should be good to go. And you guys can see it. So, you know, there was work put into making the same editor and it's all good. It looks good. I got to commend these guys for doing what they do. Another feature that's offered in the save editor is you can save it on any slot you want. Me, I just only have one save, which was slot one, and that's what I saved it on. So after you do all your edits and what you want, I just hit file and save, right? Give it a second. See? And that's all I did. And ask you if you would like to donate. I would say donate a couple of dollars to home because he took the time and his people took the time to make the save. And I'm a, I'm I am going to donate. I, and like I said in my video, and I'm gonna say it again, I am going to donate to these guys. They put in a lot of work. They deserve to be recognized for the work that they do. So I'm gonna donate a couple of dollars tomorrow to these guys and. Everybody's watching my video. You heard me, and, and they probably gonna watch my video. So you know, if you see that donation, you know who it came from. Um, but that's it. You know, once you do that, you just load the save back on to your PlayStation. You test it out, and you're good to go. Now, here's what I gotta say because I read this on the Brute Force Save Data site when the save editor was released. So this whole decrypt and encrypt did not work for me so i tried this out about seven different ways till i figured out you know what's the one that actually works 
So as the direction says on brute force save data, you got to decrypt the save, then you actually mod the save, then you encrypt it. When I did those directions on brute force save data, you know what happened? When I decrypted the save, so first and foremost, let me rephrase what I did. I decrypted the save and brute force save that. Um, then I came here and put file and um, open, and the save did load. But when I was finished editing the save the way I wanted, like how you guys just saw it, and I hit encrypt either here or brute force save data, the save editor just crashed. So I'm not too sure what's going on with the directions on brute force save data because I tried it on here to decrypt. Then load the save, then encrypt, it crashed. Um, like I said, I just tried it in brute force, save that at first. I decrypted the save, I loaded it, it loaded, went back to in, um, save it or encrypt it, it crashed. So this was the best way that I did it and it worked. And I didn't encrypt or decrypt anything. All I did was load in my save, edit it, and saved it. Then I copied the save back onto my USB flash drive, and that was it. Um, if you guys can get it to decrypt and encrypt through brute, brute for save data or the actual save editor, kudos to you guys because I didn't work for me. So, as I said before, this is version what I call version 101. The version 102 is the one that says PS3 and Xbox One. I'll post all three of the save editors for you guys. Again, you know, you may want to play with it, and especially if you got Xbox 360 and PS3 in your house, you can just use version 102. But for me, like I said before, version 101 is the one which is the second link worked for me. I'm not saying they don't all work. I'm just saying this will this is what worked for me. But that's pretty much it when it comes to using the save editor. And that's it. You know, it's straightforward. Nothing too complicated. Nothing that you guys need to be confused on. Um, pretty much straightforward. But as always, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Check out my gaming channel. Um, I want to let you guys know that I'm still going to be putting out videos. And I'm working on some more content. But if you guys hit me up. And it takes a little long for me to respond. Please keep in mind that school just started back for me. So it may take me a little bit longer to respond to your questions. Because, like I said before, I'm back in school. And I got to concentrate on my classes. So I will answer your questions in, in a timely manner. But don't get discouraged if it takes me too long. It's nothing personal. Just a lot of things on my plate. Plus, you know, can't do a uh, full-time job so you know it will take me some time but i am here watching i got a couple of friends helping me out but um as always is mr you know who from x my gaming check out my gaming channel i'll be streaming on the weekends call of duty black ops 3 for the ps4 and like i said before i want to thank dark nocho go 972 and shaka for making the save editor possible thank you again and as always Peace.